doctor. God can reverse the situation. God can flip the script on the doctor. And after a while, the Bible says, Sarah conceived because if God have a dream for you, nothing can stop what God has planned for you. So Sarah, your situation was tried, but God take care of it. And if you have any doubt, read Genesis 21, verse 1 to 3. Another lady, Agar, Agar could tell you, when I got put out of the house with my son, God provided water for me in a desert place, in a dry place. God, Genesis 21, verse 9 to 20, God give me water where there were no water. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Have you ever got put out before? Have you ever got let down and by yourself and God provide for you? Let me talk about another lady that experienced dryness. Rehab. <laughs> Rehab was a night girl. <laughs> Rehab didn't run taxi. <laughs> but at night, Rehab waiting for passenger. <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> but she didn't run taxi. <laughs> but what I'm trying to say, God can use anybody. If you are willing to be changed, God can change your lifestyle and let you become a blessing. But isn't the, isn't the same rare that saved the spy in her place? Yes, God can use anybody. Her situation was dry. She was an all up, right? But God turned it around. Another lady, Anna. Anna, Anna was a good lady, but Anna couldn't have no baby. And Anna was praying in the church. I love praying to you. I love praying mothers. Have you ever wondered some of the old people, they were cooking, pastor sometimes don't know where the meat kind coming from. Cooking dumpling, banana, whatever, and singing in the kitchen. I know the Lord will make a way somehow. And they don't know what they're going to put on the food, you know. I know the Lord will make a way somehow. And in the nick of time, somebody came and brought something to eat with the food. Huh? Yes, brothers and sisters, here is Hannah, this lady, she was in the church praying, and even the priest thought she, she was a little drunk. Can I talk to you? When you are going through your trouble, let nobody shut you up. When you feel like praising God, when you feel like calling on the name of the Lord, let nobody let you feel bad, for you know what you are going through. You know what you've been through. So call on the name of the Lord. For there is power in the name of the Lord. When you call on the name of the Lord, God will roll your burdens alone. When you are even when you are alone, it's like you're with a lot of people. But when the Lord is with you, you are more happy than some people who are everybody. But when the Lord is with you, he gives you a peace that the world can't take from you. And some people wonder how you still have peace and you didn't have this and you don't have that. But can, can I tell you something? We serve a God. When he gives you peace, he's lost in peace. Some people have money. Some people have everything, but they have no what? No peace. But you can go to your bed and sleep for you know that you, you are I'm in your hands, O oh Lord. And I pray in church and the Lord bless her. And Anna promised God, if you give me a son, I'm going to bring him back to church. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if God give you a child, always bring the child to church. When they grow up, if they left, that's their business. But it's your responsibility to bring your child to the Lord. Amen. And you know what that child name? That child name was Samuel. Yeah. Samuel became a great man. Anybody know what I'm talking about? God give Anna a child. When you make a vow, stick to your what? Stick to your vow when you make a vow. And I want to share a few, four little short points. And a one, four short points and I'm done. One more lady I'm going to tell about by the name of Esther. This lady by the name of Esther, she lost her mother and father at a what? A very young age. Her situation looked dry. Her situation looked lonely. Her situation looked sad. But can I tell you, when, when the people that should be around you is not around you, God can work it out to provide a friend or a family to be there for you. Am I right, somebody? And so Esther, the Bible said, God provide a family member by the name of who? Malachi. 
And the Bible said, Mordecai instruct and encourage who? Esther to, 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 to maintain yourself as a young lady. Uh, Mordecai told Esther, don't sell out because you don't have a mother. Don't let no man give you money to bait you up. Uh, talking about, I'm going to give you money for this. Uh, just because you don't have this and you don't have that, don't mean you're going to be cheap. Uh, you can stand up for God. But when you stand up for God, God will bless you more than any man can bless you. And so Esther was a, was, a, was a girl who maintained her integrity. Let me tell you why. If she did not maintain her integrity, she could not enter into the beauty contest. Because when the king was searching for a wife, he was not searching for a wife who everybody... <laughs> anyway, he was searching for a wife that was pure. Am I right? And so uh, Mordecai said, just because you don't have a mother, just because you don't have a father. When the favor of God is upon you. When the hands of the Lord carry you. Yes, you lost your mother and father. But when the hands of the Lord carry you, you can go a far away. And so here is it. Her try situation become blessed. Because after a while, God give her favor. The Bible said the king put a, his crown on Esther. Meaning you are the one. Let me tell you, you don't have to have everything else everybody else has. Right. What you have to have is a relationship with God. When you have a relationship with God, God will surprise the world. The world was surprised Oh, this orphan Esther become queen. But let me tell you, let me tell you, when God's hands is on you, there is no limit on what God can do for you. And so she became queen. And, and can I tell you, just because you are blessed today don't mean everything won't be perfect. Just because she became queen, she was wearing pearl and gold and all that, but she had trouble. She still had dryness. Okay, can I tell you, there was a man that was close to the king that wanted to get rid of Esther people. I'm talking about dry situation that turned into a what? Blessed situation. This man wanted to get rid of Esther people, but he did not know that Esther belonged to the children of God. Let me tell you something. In life, be careful who you trouble. Just because you see some people simple in church, be careful who you trouble. Because a, a woman who have a relationship with God or a man because is a place is somebody to reckon with. Because you may see we, but you can't see the God they serve. So be careful. And, and, so, and so here is it. This man tried to get rid of Esther people. And let me move quickly. And guess what? <clears throat> There's an old saying. When you build pit. What they say? When you build pit, build two. And when you build pit, be careful you fall back in it. And so, long story short, Esther married. And they tried to get rid of Esther people. And God worked it out that the king, <clears throat> the king, brothers and sisters, Heard that the man that was his close friend wanted to get rid of Esther people. And you know what God did? God let an informer go by his house, Aim, the, 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 the prime minister. And he said, when I went to his house, I saw in the back room, he was building a gallows. I'm going to tell you that to tell you this. God knows everything about us. Before they have radar detector, God could see in the dark. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Well, if you have any doubt, Proverbs chapter 15, verse 3 said, The eyes of the Lord are what? The eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the evil and the what? The good. And so God saw what the man was doing. And the same jealous that he was building to kill Mordecai, well, come on, he got hung on it. Your situation might be dry because Mordecai was at the gate in a dry situation and God turned his life in a blessed situation. What is my point? No matter how sad your circumstances may be, God can turn it around. Quickly, I want to share this point with you. This point is quick. Point one is this. People, many people are, are doing what seems right in your sight. So I'm going to let you not going to use the scripture. I'm just going to talk it and finish because I'm going to finish before one. Many people are doing what seems right in their sight. And the Bible says there's a way that what church it seems right. 
But we got to go back to the Bible. What the Bible said, we must hear the word of the Lord. Just because people changing rules and changing things don't mean they are right. Because there's a lot of people that's acting as if God made a mistake. There's a lot of people acting as if God do not know what to be done and we're going to do what needs to be done. But I'm here to remind somebody, we must look what the Bible said in, in, in Judges chapter 21 verse 25. The Bible said, everyone did what was right in their sight. Well, let me tell you, if you are living in a place where everybody do what is right in their sight, that's a problem. Because you can't tell them don't steal your car. Because where there is no rule, how can you say don't do this? Number two, quickly, lawlessness are increasing. Lawlessness are increasing. <clears throat> what did I saw, Elder? Lawlessness are increasing. Some of the young people don't have respect like before. I notice even coming in the bus sometimes, the young little child run in the bus before the lady and sit in the seat with the elderly focus. Come on. Lawlessness and wickedness, and not just that. When you have time, read Proverbs chapter 4, verse uh, 14 to 19. The Bible said, do not follow the evil part. Do not go in the way of the evil man. Because, brothers and sisters, we got to understand that God is not mock. And number four, number three, the next thing that I saw, uh, I want to point out to you, brothers and sisters. Number three, uh, it said... Homelessness are increasing. Do you realize that, brothers and sisters? Homelessness are increasing. And it said in 2021, 327,000 people in the United States are experiencing homelessness. 327,000 people. The more people come in the country not working, what do you think will happen? Problem. All right. Number four, mocking God is increasing. Mocking God on television is increasing. People take God and taking it like a show. They have a show talking about Jesus was defeated by Satan. And brothers and sisters, I was told that few weeks after that place was tear up by a terrible flooding. You cannot mock God. People on television mocking God, saying there is no God, and there is so much story of when they mock God, what happened to them? And the last thing, hopelessness are increasing. But the thing is this, the question is, as I close, can these bones live? Look how good God is. Here is it, here is the key. Things may be looking like a mess today. You see, the bones that was in the valley was not like when we go to school. And they write on the chalkboard and they see a skeleton with an egg bone and a, and a backbone. The, 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 the valley was a mess. You have bone over there and bone over there and bone around there. But God told the prophet to what? Prophesied to these dry bones. And when he prophesied to the dry bones, Bones came together. But remember, you have football over there. But God is so good. Things could be falling apart in your life financially, sickness and everything. But God can put back things together. Because when there was a shaking, I saw, he said, the head bone came back. And the head bone connect to what? Neck bone. Then the neck bone connected to the what? Shoulder bone. God is putting back things together and the shoulder bone connected to the back bone and the back bone connected to the hip bone, hip bone connected to the thigh bone, thigh bone connected to the knee bone. God can put back our life together. Yeah. Then the knee bone connected to the shin bone, shin bone connected to the Hunt bowl, then they say what? Hear the word of the Lord. If you want your life to be flourished, if you want a blessing from the Lord, we must what? Hear and obey the word of God. Amen. Listen, no matter what you have, no matter how famous we may be, if we disobey God, we can make it. But if we truly want to make it, we must hear the word of the Lord.